Yes. All right, yeah, so can we start the show now? Yes, there, we had our therapy yep, session. Good We're intervention, done. everyone. Yes. All right, let's talk Baker Mayfield rumors Ooh. because they're starting to churn now. Josina Anderson had some interesting tweets yesterday. Yeah. We've been hearing Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. We knew that Seattle was sort of in the shadows. We knew San Francisco was in the shadows. But JoJo says, I'm told the Seahawks still have a high level of interest in acquiring Baker Mayfield and behind the scenes are open to contractually extending him. That's interesting. This per league source. I also know that the process of, and I found this funny, collecting information and insights into Mayfield is still ongoing. He's a complicated dude, and they, they're, they're making sure that they're turning over every rock and every stone they can find out all there is to know about him. And then after we hear from the league on announcements, which we all know what she's talking about, that we're all waiting to learn, naturally, Baker Mayfield's situation with the Browns, intentions for the season, and his desires will grow more into focus. And I'm wondering, that sounds like she got that from Baker's camp himself. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not going to talk until the, until the league makes some sort of decision on Watson. So, and then there's the San Francisco, not rumor, I, it's, it's really a report. Mm -hmm. um, Jake Trotter from ESPN says that the Browns could be looking at a quarterback swap. And Jimmy G and San Francisco could be the partner. So, Two things to react to there. Mm -hmm. What do we make of these reports? I, I mean, I'm taking them all with a grain of salt. Well, the Seattle one makes more sense to me than San Francisco. Uh, I, I, I find it hard to believe they'd make a trade for Jimmy. Jimmy Garoppolo's making even more money than Baker is. Now, he'd be a good backup. He, he'd be the starter for the Browns if Deshaun Watson got suspended. That's why you would do and it. And he's mm -hmm. more, I, I think Baker personally is more talented than Jimmy Garoppolo, but I think Garoppolo, I trust Garoppolo more in a big spot, and I think, and he's obviously more accomplished than Baker. So in that case, you'd get the headache of Baker gone, and you'd still get a good, you know, backup quarterback in. Uh, and for Baker, you know, actually Seattle would be well. The only problem with Seattle for Baker is their offensive line stinks. Right. They got a good running, they got good backs, and they got good receivers. Although I'm sure DK Metcalf wants out of there. Uh, obviously, San Francisco's got a really good team, but I don't think Baker's starting in San Francisco. Carolina still makes the most sense, though. Well, they I don't have a good Jake, quarterback. Though, in his account. report, kind of intimated that they're not ready to to go with Trey yet. I mean, that, that, that's what I took from that. Am I, did I read that wrong, Jason? Well, I think I think from the Browns' perspective, Jimmy G makes sense if Deshaun's out for the entire year. That's right. the only way you Certainly. do that. I agree with and, that. And yeah. Because the Browns, listen, I got to tell you, I spent a lot of time around the time of the combine before the Deshaun trade. The Browns just were not interested in Jimmy G. If it was Jimmy G or Baker at the time, Lots changed since then. At yeah. the time, yeah. they, their thought was, we'll just hold on to Baker. But now, obviously, things are different. Baker's never going to take another snap for the Browns. That's over. So, if Deshaun is out for the year, are, do you really want to go into the season with Jacoby Brissett? No, well, he's got to play 17 Everybody days. agrees Jimmy G's a better option than Jacoby Absolutely. Brissett, yeah. right? Yeah. And so Even that's Jacoby where, Brissett probably agrees with that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I think the, the San Francisco thing makes a lot of sense. If Deshaun's out for the year. Yeah, if, I, if it's I six to eight too. games... You just live with Jacoby Brissett until Deshaun's ready. But if he's done, if you know you got to win all year without Even him. Even if it's eight games, though, Jay, if you're still, if it's a straight swap and the money is, the, he does make a little bit more money, but it's not. about eight million. Yeah. So yeah. But you it, could, it's if right. you're upgrading the most important position on your yeah. team yeah. for half the season. To give your chance to team to win a, when I they're would, primed to I win. Still that's do why it. I think the San Francisco thing makes real sense. I would to me. do it for eight. I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm not buying it, but if I hope it's real because I would definitely do it if I were the Browns. Yeah. I agree. Even if it's eight games, I would, just, I would still make that trade. I, yeah, I think it's difficult. Um, when you look at what Jacoby Reset is, is bringing to the table, they brought him in, I guess, for a reason. So, you know, you look at it from a standpoint, uh, are they comfortable with Jacoby Brissett and his skill set in terms of what they think they have in him? Plus, you got to look at the, the other pieces around the, the offense, the defense, the rest of the team. If you think that you have a legitimate shot at still making the playoffs with just your other surrounding pieces of parts, I think you could go get uh, Jimmy G because then we already know that Jimmy G at, at worst has already gotten another team with mm -hmm. similar pieces of parts. We we compared the 49ers to the Browns roster a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You know what he's done with them. He's gone to a Super Bowl. He's gone to an NFC Championship game. So if you can bring him in. More accomplished coach, though, to more, be fair. Yes, I, I will give you yeah. that. More accomplished coach. But if you look at it like that, they may not have to take a step back with Jimmy G. If you say, hey, the Cleveland Browns can still make the playoffs, still be in, in the rotation with Jimmy G, 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would you think that's a, a bit too far? Do you think they could compete in the AFC with, with Jimmy G? I think they have a better shot to compete with Jimmy G for eight games or more yeah. than yeah. they do currently with Jacoby Brissett. But, and I think that's the math that they're doing in Berea yes. right now is trying to figure this out. And to Jacina's second tweet, everybody's going to have a lot more clarity once the league finally gives us some sort of clarity as to what happens with Deshaun Watson. Right. Then the train's going to start moving real fast, I think, because we're getting close yeah. to camp. I mean, if I'm Baker, though, like, not that this matters, but if I'm Baker, it's weird because, like, Seattle is his best chance to start, right? Even more than Carolina, well, more than San Francisco, I think. I, I think San Francisco, if they, if they, if for Jake to report this, there, I think, and I could be wrong, Jason, but I would think that there, there has to be mutual interest. He's not just hearing this from Cleveland that that's an option. I would think that San Francisco would, would have interest too. And there's already a lot of talk that they don't think Trey's ready to go. Yeah, but are they going to go two full years without playing, paying Trey, playing Trey Lance? I just find that hard to believe. I don't know. I mean, if they, if he's not ready, he's not ready. Right, but. And if he was ready, you wouldn't hear any of this discussion. But if Baker struggles at all, even if he did get the start there, if Baker struggles at all, eventually I would think they're going to go to Trey Lance. They drafted him in the top five. Sure. I don't think they sit him for two years. They, they traded up to get him. Whereas Seattle's got nobody. They've got nobody. No, you're right about They've that. They've got Geno Smith and Drew Locke. So Baker's the definite starter in Seattle. It's the only place he can go and be a definite starter probably for the whole season you know, unless he was as terrible. As we're talking about this, Jason, I'm wondering, it seemed like for a while that – Nobody was interested, and there was no market at all. But the way the Browns have played this, it seems like it's still Carolina, San Francisco, and Seattle. And as long as there's more than one dance partner, they could end up getting something of worth for them. Possibly. I don't think it's going to be a lot. And, and I think we have to wait, to just see this point, you have to wait until the suspension is known, and then the Browns can make the decision, okay, do we? if it's for the year, do we need to go get someone like Jimmy G, or do we need to – or would we be better off getting a draft pick? If we can survive six games with Jacoby Brissett, let's move Baker for a draft pick. You know what I mean? Sure. And if it's, okay, we need someone who can get us to the playoffs, we can't worry about a draft pick. We need some. We need to go get Mike, Jimmy Garoppolo. I have a question for you. Is there a number of games in your head that Watson could be suspended for that you would think that the playoffs aren't happening this year? It depends who they have. It depends if they make a move here. I think that they're... You know, look what we did with Baker a couple of years ago. And if you have Jimmy G in here and he's, I mean, he's pretty much proven when you've got this offense, it's ready to run. The two things that interest me about this is, frankly, first of all, I like that they're doing their due diligence on Baker, which is interesting in itself, like to see if there's yeah. anything back there. But imagine how pleasant that investigation is compared to the people who have to do the Deshaun investigation yeah. where they're they're hearing horrid, horrifying, lurid details every day. Yeah. And they're like, oh, God. Wait until whereas, they hear Baker said he wants it? to show up at someone's cubicle and boo his ass off. Right, or, and that's, oh, that's, that, a that's the bad thing is him like being like uh, throwing shade at Tony Grossi for asking him a tough question or something like that. Like that's the worst they're going to find back there probably. Uh, so that's got to be pleasant in itself. But also, the thing that I want to remind everybody of is how many people were just calling a couple of months ago, just cut Baker. I just was one of them. Cut him. I just said, let's move get on him from out the of drama. There. And look at, I just like Eric said, the closer we're getting to the season and more people are freaking out when they're in camp and they see Wait who they've got. Wait until there's an injury. Wait until there's an injury or when they see how, uh, you know, this, this quarterback's not working, this guy's not ready. I'm just glad that we didn't jump the gun because yeah. now we're talking about you know, they're actually getting something back. They're still not. I still don't buy they're going to get There's much. There's not a, some they're massive not, but market they're not, yeah. for But Baker. what if they can lose? Ha what if they can not have to pay that entire salary? It just made yeah. business yes, sense for it, them. Not. It never made sense to cut them. I agree. No. So, but I'm just glad that he's still here and we're still talking about it. And I still think that there's, there could be some value there. Desperate times call for desperate measures. If Watson's suspended for the season, I think they have almost no chance of making the playoffs, no matter who the quarterback really? is. Really? Yes. For the season. Right. Yeah, I, I, would, I would buy that. Oh, yeah. I, I've been asking this question of a lot of folks, and some say eight games is their, is their sort I, of mark. I, and if, they, if it's eight games with Garoppolo, I give them a shot. I still don't love their chances, even though I think Garoppolo's solid, only because the AFC is so good right now. Yes. If they were, if the Browns were in the NFC, eight games Garoppolo, mm -hmm. and then nine games Watson, yeah, I'd say they have a good chance. I, sure, I, I, but I, 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 I think it'd be tough. It, I, I, I'd give them a chance with Garoppolo. I, I think there's this thing where Jimmy Garoppolo is, is just not good to some people, but I've seen Jimmy Garoppolo take and walk himself right into Lambeau Field and beat 
<laughs> beat the guy. He the didn't dude. do much in that game. Yeah, hey, he did very little. Hey, I mean, yeah. the defense scored a special team scored a touchdown. I, I mean, I mean, I could say the San same Francisco's thing. Defense I was could great. say the same thing about Baker. They had five turnovers. True, but we're game. not debating Baker versus but what, but what Jimmy Garoppolo. But what I'm saying, he did is, enough to win. He he got the win. He's he been a, he's been to a Super Bowl and an NFC and Championship. And to defend game. you, and it, it's a fair point. The Niners, it, everybody talks about their great coach. When they've had Garoppolo, they've been a winner. When they have not had Garoppolo with the co- same coach, yeah. they haven't done any We've winning. We've also seen Garoppolo throw the mindless Terrible. pick I mean, in a huge spot Because he's game. not a great talent, but he's a you know good leader, and he has some of the intangibles. Who's better? Like yeah. Baker. Do we agree that Baker uh, – wh- who's better, Baker or Garoppolo? I would still, and I st- stay to this, and I know it's not going to happen. I still think that if Watson gets a, suspend- a suspension for the season, their best chance is with Baker. And I know it's not going to happen because everybody screams at but me at the who, top of their lungs that I it's not. Who's better, the Baker or Garoppolo? I take better? Baker. I take, take Jimmy G. You take Jimmy G? Yeah. I think Baker's talent. Talent. Talent wise, Baker's better. Decision making, Garoppolo. So Just here's the question: Two years, two years ago, went to the playoffs with Baker, and was that team better or worse around around Baker then? At that point, were they than we are now? Oh, it was worse. Worse. It, it was yeah, worse. But the yeah. AFC is much better. The, the AFC is better. Much but better. we also don't know. We don't know if uh, we don't know who's gonna be, get hurt. We don't know what Pittsburgh's gonna do. Yeah. The Baltimore ha- they have a tendency to get injured. You know, like yeah. We, but the argument for the Baker staying at the staying at this point, I think the ship. I'm is not saying. even saying. No, that. Yeah, I'm just saying I, the idea they, of Jimmy coming in. Yes, and for eight and games, they'd have started. a shot. They'd have a shot. Well, yeah, they, I agree. Look at the first four games. I don't see no – to me, I don't see any L's the first four games. Maybe Pittsburgh – Somebody the, could sneak in there. The, does anybody know. see the yeah, – Something's going to happen. Yeah. I, I it's mean, the Browns. I, I, but you got – at some point, at some point, the rest of the roster – has yeah. to be. They should go three and one they minimum in those four games, no matter minimum. who the quarterback is. Isn't there some is? horrifying statistic yeah. in our uh, opening game? How many? They uh, haven't won an opening game never in like won, 17 years. We haven't years. won an opening game in yeah. like, so it's, it wouldn't be a tie unfair. against the Steelers. So just assuming that we're going to clean house the first oh, four and games. And still, you know, the possibility still exists that they, they, they go to Carolina in week one. They do. Yeah. And the possibility still exists, exists that Baker ends up in Carolina. I got him losing uh, And game. drops the L on the Browns I got him in The NFL's mouth is watering. game by far. If Baker the plays Browns the first game, game yeah, I, he's yeah. going to throw. He's going to have one of those yeah. twenty for twenty-two spreading the ball around. No doubt. And he's Out of put spite. The flag what what day do we open his... the season? The tenth. Uh, whatever see, day we I open expected, the next day, I expe- Bull isn't coming to work. I expected if that from these guys. I'm a, I'm embarrassed that you just said that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I expect that nonsense nah, from these guys, man. not from you. Not, listen, okay. He's a spite-based, nah. spite-fueled ba- quarterback. Baker may f- – We Baker may know what Baker is in a big spot. He'll be feeling the pressure, and he will choke like a no, dog. No, no. He'll, he'll play well that game. He'll stick nah. it to him. He'll I love that we're him. imagining that he's already on the team. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're like, he's, he's going to win. Uh-huh. 27-24 on a last-second touchdown yep, with Baker. Well, we no, called that's it. That's definitely not going to happen. Yeah. We have enough proof of that. Yeah, we I, got proof of the fourth September quarter. September 11th is the first game. So Perfect. If that happens, we will not be seeing Bull on the 12th. Oh, I'll yeah. be here. He'll be at a Burger King drive-thru somewhere in North Carolina. Chicken nuggets. I can't go to Burger King and Taco Bell probably. Just get the Impossible Whopper. Even no, who's you know what? That? Listen, the Impossible Whopper it's got it, a lot it, of calories in it too. Man. It has just honestly, about- if, as bad as me going to the, really the rock bottom would have been eating the Impossible Burger. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, if you eat the Impossible Burger at Burger King, you should hit yourself in the head with a mallet. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, because that's I a mean, stretch. Like, what, what are you trying to eat healthy at Burger King? Is that that's not healthy? By the way, we're going to foreshadow. Burger. We're not the only people up here that has a confession to make. Oh, that's right, Jason, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna. He's We're gonna get to that. Not later. yet. We'll though. get to that. Oh later. no, that's yeah. That, yeah, we, we got to built into the. That's built in. That's, that's built a, in that's later. That's called a tease. That's called a tease. It's yeah. teasing me. I don't even know. 